it's very easy to take the technology that we have today for granted. For example, people take for granted the sheer power that they wield when they hold a modern LED flashlight. And in the case of an emergency, illumination is going to be a very crucial component of any preparedness plan. Today we're going to do a comparison video between the first flashlight ever invented and the most modern and currently powerful one available on the market in order to demonstrate just how far this technology has come. I want to send out a special thanks to Steve Gitterman and David White who are primary contributors to the website flashlightmuseum.com and are also some of the main curators of antique flashlights in North America with extensive collections. So go check out the website flashlightmuseum.com for a more in-depth historical overview of the evolution of flashlight technology. Nothing really signifies civilization like man's ability to illuminate the darkness. Since his inception, man has been on an eternal quest for fire. It keeps us warm, it cooks our food, and it illuminates the darkness. In illuminating the darkness, man has essentially taken the energy from the sun and been able to use it at his leisure. In compensating for our visual shortcomings, light provides us security in the darkness. When we are most vulnerable, this will most certainly be the case in a prolonged post-disaster situation, where the ability to detect and identify threats will be a crucial part of our survival. Over a hundred years ago, a man named Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. It took nearly 10,000 years of evolution to reach this point, and only 20 years after this, with the advent of portable dry cell battery technology, came the invention of the flashlight as we know it today. Modern flashlight or torch technology sharply contrasts primitive means of illumination. And the flashlight technology that you have at your disposal today is exponentially more powerful than the first ones created at the turn of the 20th century. The first flashlights that were ever invented were created by what is now known as the EverReady Company. And the owner of the company freely distributed these to the New York City Police Department who did actually embrace the technology with open arms, in spite of the fact that it was very limited compared to what we're used to today. The reality is their runtime and low brightness were simply not practical by today's standards. So the real deal original flashlights that we can relate to today came along first in the form of carbon filament bulbs and they were the first to use dry cell batteries. And the reason why they were called flashlights is because they only had the power to emit a temporary flash that gradually faded in intensity. Hence the term flashlight and not just light. So perhaps now we can appreciate the colloquial term of torch as it's commonly used in the UK because it really does make more sense to call it a torch than it would be a flashlight considering modern flashlights are not meant to flash, they're on constantly. Now each flashlight battery pack could produce a certain amount of flashes before it was exhausted and the way that they marketed at the time was by how many flashes you would get out of a certain battery pack. Now these flashlights ran on what we commonly know today as D-cell batteries and they usually ran on two or three of them. They were relatively large compared to the modern tactical flashlights that we currently enjoy and they had a minuscule fraction of the flashlight power of the modern day and a much much poorer battery life and they by far were not as durable. Now the original Comet flashlight as shown here, this one's actually modified. It has a modern battery pack in it which allows it to do more than just flash it allows it to remain on continuously modern flashlights exceed the capabilities of the original flashlight by leaps and bounds nowadays the most common light source is leds or light emitting diodes so let's compare the light of a modern olight x7 which is one of the most powerful flashlights on the market today. It's not the most powerful. I believe that the Ace Beam has a flashlight that is the most powerful. However, Olight has been able to produce it at a manageable price point under $200 for a 9000 lumen soda pop can light, which is actually high quality. That's actually not a bad price compared to some of the other stuff that's on the market in that class of flashlight. 
Now it uses four high discharging lithium ion 18650 batteries, which sends out a disgusting 9,000 lumens. Olight also has some flashlights coming on the market in the next few months, which are going to tip the scales of 12,000 plus lumens, which is just unreal. Now, of course, this 9,000 lumens can only be sustained for about two and a half minutes. But let's do the math to see how more powerful the modern Olight X7 is compared to the original Comet flashlight. Now, let's just assume that the Comet flashlight was about three lumens, which is pretty generous estimate, considering of the capabilities of the time. And this is based on my discussions with Steve Gitterman, the primary curator of flashlights in North America. So in terms of lumen output on the max setting, the Olight X7 compared to the EverReady Comet is nearly 3,000 times more powerful when corrected for runtime. That means you would need 3,000 New York City police officers with their Comet flashlights to rival one Olight X7. I mean, just imagine going back in time with a modern Olight X7. People would probably think you were some kind of god or something if you shine that. <laughs> Actually, criminals would probably just melt on sight if you uh, pointed that at them. Now, the original flashlights could do about three lumens, but it could only do it for a few flashes. Very, very pathetic. Now, compare that to the Olight X7, which can hold a three lumen output for up to 30 days. That means it can hold three lumens for up to 45,000 minutes compared to the original flashlight that can only hold three lumens for about three minutes. That means it's 15,000 times more efficient. That is simply unbelievable that in the span of 100 years, light technology has improved 15,000 times. So it is 3,000 times brighter and 15,000 times more efficient. It is incredibly more durable. You can drop it, it's waterproof, and of course the LEDs have much longer lifespan. So the LEDs in modern flashlights are likely going to outlive most of the owners. It's very unlikely that you're gonna use your flashlight for even a fraction of the rated lifespan of most of these LEDs, which is in the neighborhood of 20,000 hours. To add even more insult to historical injury, the batteries of the modern flashlights can be recharged up to a thousand times compared to these honking D-cell batteries that they had to use in the past, which once they were dead, they were dead. They could not be recharged. Well, at least not easily by the average layman. So I hope this has given you a greater appreciation of the technology that you're able to wield as a modern day prepper. Just remember that just over a hundred years ago, people's capability to illuminate the darkness was infinitely smaller than yours today. I'm going to post an article for your own education and amusement below that talks about the myriad of ways that flashlights of the future may be powered. There's dozens of different flashlight concepts which are competing to be the de facto medium of power delivery of the future. So go check it out. So I hope this video has been informative to you and I hope that you now have a greater appreciation for the lighting technology that's at our disposal. Being well equipped with modern flashlight technology is going to give you a great advantage if there ever was a prolonged grid down situation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the video. Canadian Prepper out. Check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog, an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers.